guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you my February favorites, everything that I loved throughout the month, a setting spray I can't get enough of, the best spot treatment I've maybe ever used, and lots of other good stuff. If you're curious about this makeup, everything that I'm wearing will be listed down below, and I did film some Instagram reels showing application, so those will be linked, whatever is live, but let's go ahead and get started. So let's chat about my current favorite setting spray. I was always a huge fan of Urban Decay D Slick. Then I moved my way to be an all-nighter girl. Now I'm an all-nighter ultra glow girl. So this is essentially the same kind of formula, the long lasting setting spray, um, but this says it has a refreshed dewy finish and it's infused with a hit of hyaluronic acid and agave extract. I don't find that this makes me, like the oils come through any faster or any greasier. It just looks so good and glowy. There's no um, glitter or shimmer or anything in there. I'm a huge fan of all of the all-nighters. Uh, there's also Ultra Matte if you have super oily skin. The classic, of course, works for anybody. But yeah, this is the one I've been loving. I love to use it layered in my makeup like I did the other ones. Um, but yeah, if you like a glowy setting spray, but one that isn't super shimmery, because some of them can be really shimmery or full of oils and things like this, this still helps keep my makeup in place. Things look dewy and refreshed, uh, but not greasy. That's the key. Now you'll be shocked to see I have another mascara in this video that's not the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish. I still love that one so much and I've actually been combining this and the Charlotte Tilbury. I love them both separately. I love them together. I just love makeup, okay? But it is the e.l.f. Big Mood Mascara. I think that this is so, so good. This was one of my favorite mascaras up until I started using the Charlotte Tilbury and I go through phases. So if you're looking for one that has a bit of a friendlier price tag, uh, this gives it tons of volume. They also just came out with a waterproof, which I haven't tried yet, but I have high hopes. I, t I tend to not like waterproof mascara because I don't normally have smudging or transfer or anything like that. I'm blessed in that way. But uh, yeah, this has a really nice fluffy big brush on it. So I can get a little messy with it, but that's nothing new for me. Tons of volume, tons of length, and it looks super matte, really, really black. I'm not, I don't think yeah, like this one just says it's in the shade of black. It's not in black, it's black or anything like that, but so impressive. For a long time, I really didn't like e.l.f.'s mascaras, but now all the ones that they've come out with have been really good, but Big Mood is my favorite. If you're wondering what's on my lips, it's one of the new Fenty lipsticks. They sent me all of them and then like a separate tube, but I put another lipstick in the tube and I haven't looked up how to take it out and I got nervous and I didn't want to mess it up because I already messed up one of the lipsticks. <laughs> but the lipstick I'm wearing right now is a really nice nude uh, and it's in the shade Mother Lava. Mother lover. Really nice nude. I don't have any lip liner on with it. My friend uh, LJ wore this over the weekend and she's much more fair than me. She's Irish and it looked beautiful on her. It looked pretty neutral, like a neutral sort of peach. And on me, it pulls a little bit warmer. It's really interesting to see how it differs from skin tone to skin tone. But I like the formula on this. It's a pretty, I would say, traditional lipstick formula. It's not too matte, not too sheer, not too glossy. It doesn't have the longest wear time because it isn't a super matte lipstick, but really, really comfortable to wear. And I thought that this was a really great shade. A lot of, um, kind of browns and nudes in the line. I would love to see some pinks and oranges come out next, but so far really loving this shade from the line. And then also from Fenty, I've started using the Fenty Universal Gloss Balm again. I'm always, not always, but like often I'm looking for a gloss. I want one that I can just I don't know, a lot of my glosses have a peach tint or a red tint or a pink tint or they're like a liquefied lipstick and I'm looking for something that I can just easily throw on no matter what makeup I have on or no makeup at all uh, that doesn't require any fussing that I can easily apply with no mirror. And like, you know, Rihanna did it with this one. She really did. It really seems to be universal. I haven't tried the lemon, is it lemon drop or lemon balm shade? I'm curious to try that. Uh, but this one is so good. It's getting, it's getting actually down there and I've had it for quite a while. So I probably should replace it, but uh, it really uh, is such a great do it all. Current favorite bronzer of the moment is from Dior. It's a bougie one, uh, the Dior Forever Natural Bronze in Amber Bronze. I really love the highlighter from this line too, but I've been loving the bronzer a lot because it has a cooler tone and because I tend to wear a lot of um, warmer tone blushes, warmer tone highlights, warmer tone clothing. Sometimes I like to go a little bit cooler tone in my blush, uh, sorry, bronzer, especially if my foundation is pulling a little bit warm, just so things don't get too orangey on my skin or if my foundation is a little bit more yellow like it is today. 
today. I think it's such a nice color. I use it all over like with a fluffy brush like my bronzer, but if you saw in my most recent foundation routine, I actually took kind of a smaller brush and used it as like a contour as well. It's really buildable. I like that in a bronzer formula where it's not too pigmented, so you actually have the, you know, opportunity to work with it and it blends out beautifully. It's matte. There's no shimmer in here, so if you're looking to spend a couple extra dollars, uh, Dior makeup always does a really good job in my opinion. I don't want to get too repetitive because I've been talking about a lot of these products in, in videos recently, but I really do. This is the wrap-up of my favorites. So tested out this new uh, Smashbox Photo Finish Illuminate Glow Primer. It is the has vitamin C, their silk screen complex, so it's supposed to be like, you know, everybody's doing skincare infused, and it really feels so good on the skin. It has this beautiful um, peachy luminescence to it that has a little bit of shimmer but really not it just really makes your skin look nice and bright you can use it on its own mix it in with foundation I actually love this as a highlighter I talked about it in my favorite natural highlighters video just to pop on the top of the cheekbones I think it looks awesome so really really multi-use I love the color uh, of it as well it just adds like it doesn't add warmth to the skin but the glow is warm it's not like a, a pinky green luminescence it's more like peachy warm sort of so really complimentary to my skin tone but to all skin tones as well they have launched a bunch of different ones there's a mattifying one for anti-redness one um, and the primerizer of course uh, but yeah if you want to see it in action i did use it in that foundation routine so i'll link that below i've really been loving this new scent from erin erin i believe is the daughter of estee lauder or the granddaughter Either way, really beautiful scent. Love the packaging. I love this little kind of gemstone on top. It's really, really pretty. Uh, this, let me see how they describe it. Aaron's latest fragrance, Cedar Violet, pays homage to the wilderness of the Adirondacks, dreaming up a woody floral scent that captures the way. The crisp air, lush forests, and mountain peaks invigorate both the body and the spirit. Luminescent notes of green violet leaf and sweet magnet. Magnet? are joined by golden gardenia and jasmine while earthy rich amber sandalwood and cedar are at the base so i love woody-ish kind of scents i normally and it's like it balances out really nice with the floral it just actually i don't have any scent on today i saw that you're not supposed to rub it together on tiktok so i'm not gonna rub it but i don't need to spray it on my other wrist i also saw if you put a little vaseline on before as well it helps to um, let it stick to your body and sort of last a little bit longer, but I really like that. I love Erin's scents. Uh, there's another one that I used to, that I wear in a, it's like a little rollerball or a little spray bottle that I always travel with, and that's so good. Okay, so my favorite hair oil of the moment is from Olaplex. This is the number seven bonding oil. First of all, I just love the, the packaging. It's like really simple, and just the color of it, I don't know. <laughs> I have a little simple peanut brain that I just think that this is so pretty because the the yellowy warm tone of it but anyways I use this primarily when I have a blowout um, a little bit when I have curly hair too you don't need a lot of this and when I first got it I was like this, this is pretty small and I gotta say I really like it especially when I have a blowout I do a lot more blowouts in the winter just because it's easier to wear with hats and um, winter clothes kind of thing but as soon as I put it on my hair it looks shinier like instant instant shine it's almost like a highlighter for your hair uh, and it really does have a nice lightweight texture that doesn't weigh down my hair but I do need to try it out more with my curls I haven't tried it out as much with my curls um, but I gotta say I really really am super impressed by that an oil for the face that I love. I just got a re-up of this. They sent it my way. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite face oils, and I recommend this to all skin types, especially oily, uh, but everybody can enjoy this. They do also have a salicylic acid oil, but this is the Squalene Facial Oil from Indeed Labs. Canadian brand. I always love to give them a shout out, and as always, I like to mention, available at Chopper Truck Mart in Canada. Ulta in the US, Boots in the UK, beautiful lightweight oil, at least in Choppers too. It goes on sale a lot. I'll either mix this in with my moisturizer most nights or if I'm like really trying to take the steps I will apply it after my moisturizer but I always wake up with my skin feeling more plump more hydrated not that it's like still on my face in the sense that it's greasy but it's still there like you know when you wear a good lip mask and you wake up and your skin like there's still some remnants of it there your lips feel hydrated it just feels a little bit better I gotta say I really do feel this I've even worn this under my makeup before gasp but uh it's such a good oil if you don't know where to start if you find them heavy if you don't tend to like them on your skin i'm telling you this indeed labs one is fabulous current favorite body wash it smells so good from nivea refreshing body wash fresh blends mm. 
It's so good. If you tend to like mango, it's also got apricot in there and rice milk, which I believe is quite hydrating for supple, soft, supple looking skin. And what's cool about this is it is 90% naturally derived ingredients and the bottle is made of 97% recycled uh, pet plastic. I'm not sure what pet stands for, but we love that. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, not a ton to say about this. I mean, it feels hydrating. Get a great lather. I use this on my loofah and I really like it. It says um, that it's lovingly blended with naturally derived ingredients, uh, fruit extracts, plant-based milk, and it really does just, I don't know, it elevates my shower experience. It smells so good. And it's not like a sickly sweet. I mean, I guess it depends on who you ask, but to me, it smells amazing. And then finally, I've had a lot of breakouts recently and I decided to try something a little bit different. Normally I find spot treatments don't do anything for me. And a lot of the time I reach for salicylic acid, but I was like, you know what, let me try this. It was on sale at Shoppers. I bought the uh, cleanser as well. There's a stubborn acne cleanser and then there's the ultra gentle daily one, which was the one I got. So I tend to go a little bit too hardcore when I get uh, breakouts, but this is the Neutrogena Stubborn Acne AM Treatment. I've been actually using this at night, and it's a benzyl peroxide gel, 2.5%, uh, helps eliminate stubborn acne. And I have to tell you, I put this on pimples uh, like a couple of days ago. I only bought this about a week ago, and but I have, I'm like, it's going in the favorites because it's so good. <laughs> uh, but it... They were flattened the next day like I do have one kind of like cyst under my eye and that's actually I believe starting to do something with it which is crazy because it's actually under the skin and I have other breakouts that are popping up but as I put this on it really does flatten them uh, I've used it in the day and in the night they have a night serum as well but I kind of just wanted to test this out and it does work it's possible to work this under makeup it does have kind of like it can be a little bit drying on the skin so I only put it where I need to and it can leave a little bit of a um, almost like a chalky looking cast. So that's why I like to use it at night. But you can like I pat my moisturizer over it uh, just because it is drying. But I don't want to disturb where the uh, product is. But I'm so freaking impressed with this. Also, there's so much in here. Like I'm only using a pea size amount at night to dab on some of my pimples. So really, really impressed with this. I haven't had an issue with it staining any of my uh, pillowcases or towels, but that can happen, I think, sometimes with benzoyl peroxide. And it says, apply to one area once a day for three days to test if you're sensitive. If no discomfort um, arises, start with one application, <clears throat> excuse me, daily, and then gradually two or three times daily if needed. So if you're kind of like, you know, working from home or anything like that, you can sort of apply throughout the day, which I have tested out as well. And I am so freaking impressed with this. So that's everything from me. Let me know what you are loving this month. As always, if you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Samantha Jane YT, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.